everybody welcome back to the rod shop i'm lee today fender flares i got the new fenders here on the jeep uh got them both put on left side right side today we're gonna get the new fender flares put on um and i just basically just bought the cheapest ones off of uh ebay i think these things were like 50 bucks on eBay. Uh, here they are, seven inch fender flares. Just walk it out here. Well, this is one of the rear ones. It's gonna go on there, you know, kind of like that. Take the place of the, those old faded out factory ones. And I wanted something a little bit wider because I've put the 31 1050s on it and I'm gonna raise it two inches in the front. So, uh, let's get started on that. Okay, what we have here, this is the front driver's side fender flare. As you can see, front driver's side fender flare. They send this weather stripping here and they send all the necessary hardware. Uh, the way the hardware works is as you slide the bolt through here and then you slide these little these two little rubber spacers on there and slide them all the way down and what that does is fills in the gap between this lip and here right here this lip and here it fills that in so it'll mount flush on the side of the jeep so i'm gonna go ahead Get the weather strip and put on there. Again, it's grooved. You just slide the groove right down over the edge and work your way around and then trim it off. So let me get that put on and then I'll be right back. Okay, on these here, slide the little wash. On these here, slide the washer in there like so. Slide it up through the hole. And then slide two of these little rubber spacers down over the top just like that and that makes it where it'll be flush against the fender out there okay now we've got all the bolts slid through i slid all the rubber spacers on there now we take the fender flare walk it out here and we'll line it up with the holes and we'll we'll line it up line up all the holes and then slide it on there hello everybody uh, i just want to take a minute here to to plug my website uh, we've got merchandise we've got the uh, ross rod shop tees it's got the small logo on the front large logo on the back we've got some hats hoodies coffee mugs i've got stickers uh, check it out again rossrodshop.com um, help us out support the channel uh, every little bit helps and i appreciate anything anybody does thank you so much Now you want to start all the bolts loose. You don't want to tighten down each one as you go. Just get them all on there. And get them started loose. Okay, now the size of the uh, nuts may vary from kit to kit. Like these are eight millimeters. So we'll just get back here, get 
get on it. Use the little Allen key they sent with the uh, flares. And we'll tighten them up. Okay guys, we got the, I got the fender flare on there. Um, I still have to put this back piece on right here. These little nut certs, I didn't have to worry about them here because I put a brand new fender on. But here, these things are a bear. Uh, a lot of times they just start spinning. Luckily this one came right out. I'm gonna have to pull this one out and then figure out a way to put a bolt through that. But I can stick the bolt through here. It's on the back of the fender. And then I've got this nut cert here that's still working somewhat. So I'll go ahead and I'll spray some uh, lubricant on there and just reuse that nut cert. Uh, there you have it on, that's the first one. Uh, we'll get after the back here next. Uh, this doesn't got dark on me, it'll probably be tomorrow. Uh, like you can figure the cheapest thing off of eBay, fitment issues, right? Uh, the holes were just a little bit off. I had to work with them a little bit, but hey, it's on there. Uh, again, it looks like crap because it's so close to the tire. But once I get the front lifted up, it'll get another two inches of space between that and the tire, and then we should be fine. Uh, so uh, tomorrow's Saturday. Uh, I got a couple of brake jobs I have to do in the first thing in the morning, hopefully tomorrow afternoon. I can get back after this and we can finish it up. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay guys, now we're gonna move to the rear. We've already got the front one on. Looking good, all I have to do is put in that turn signal right there. Um, okay, and the big headache with getting these old ones off is those nut certs that they used when they put them on there. Those things are crap, uh, especially if your Jeep has seen anything, any type of off-road or if it has any type of rust issues, which this one has both. Um, those things are never gonna come, you're just gonna have to pry them out. And that's what I did with that lower piece there is this center one just spins. It won't, so I'm just gonna pull it out and just put a nut and bolt in there. This one actually came out uh, but I can't put that piece on until I cut out. I got to cut it out from here to here and replace that rocker. So I'm, I'm going to do that uh, before I put that lower uh, fender flare fender flare piece on there. Uh, so uh, let's get after getting this back one done. What I'm going to do is since these things are old and faded and they ain't worth the crap. Nobody wants them or nobody would want to want them uh i'm just going to take the old saws all here and cut it off so i ain't got to worry about anything really all right now that makes it real easy to get to all these little bolts here yeah it's just spinning so, yeah, every one of them's just spinning. You can pull this uh, inner fender liner down and get a pair of vice grips on the back side of them, try to get them out. Yeah, as you can see, every one of them, except for that one, has spun. Oh, look, there's another one. We got three out. Yeah, woohoo! That's better than a sharp stick in that. Three's more than I thought we'd get out. So now what I'm gonna try to do is pry down this inner fender here. 
this plastic fender liner pry it up pry it back a little bit so i can get some vice grips on the back to get these things out Yeah, these things are really tricky to get to because there's a lip and then those things sit back inside that lip. Okay, there's two, three to go. plastic push pins down here Just one more over here, and I'm going to assume it's another one of those plastic things it is. Got it. Woohoo! Yeah, buddy. Okay. And I'll clean all this up before I put that new fender flare on there. Forgot to put the weather stripping on there. Okay, now that this idiot got the weather stripping put on it, we got it back up on here. We can get back to installing it. Again, I am not tightening these all the way. I'm just running the little bolts up on there to hold it. It needs, it needs to be loose so it can be moved around and lined up with the holes because again this is a cheap eBay part and well it's not lining up all that great which that is to be expected any any parts bought off of eBay. Okay guys, I got the 
the rear one on there. Got the weather stripping, got the bolts in it. That's how it's going to look. Now we just have to repeat the same thing on the other side. Uh, it's getting late. So I'll get after that tomorrow. Okay guys, now we're getting started on the passenger side of the Jeep, getting these fender flares put on. I'm gonna set up the camera, get it done, uh, speed y'all through it a little bit because you've already, you've already seen the other side. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and knock it out.
okay sorry battery died uh figure gopro right um what i did was these nut certs were spinning in there and they're rusted in there you just grab i just grabbed them with a pair of vice grips and wiggled them back and forth and they pulled right out uh as it turns out on this back one back here this rust comes all the way back here to this hole where the bottom of the fender flare is going to mount and i was going i'm going to replace this anyway so i'm just going to have to wait to put this on once i replace this and then i've still got to do this frame but yeah uh well i'll end this video here um uh, you've seen me do three of the four uh fender flares uh i'll come back i'll do a video replacing these rocker panels naturally i'm gonna do a video uh, fixing the frame i uh, still got a you know front bumper rear tailgate um i'm gonna put a light bar you know all sorts of things uh so don't forget to like and subscribe check out the web the link below for my website merchandise thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time